Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. There's been a lot of buzz surrounding the new technology utilized in our next product. I'm talking about Hotson's new Vortex-equipped air guns, which is their version of a gas ram. Today we'll be taking a look at their entry-level Vortex-equipped Striker 1000X and 25 caliber. Let's go ahead and get started. Addictive. That's the best way I know how to describe how it feels to shoot the new Vortex Equipped Striker 1000X. It cocks and shoots very smoothly, and you just never want to put it down. The 1000X comes with an ambidextrous wood stock with checkering on the grip and the forearm. It's a pretty basic design and it works really well. It ships with front and rear fiber optic sights with the rear sight being fully adjustable for windage and elevation. If you prefer a scope, the 1000X ships with Hotson standard 3 to 9 by 32 Optima scope and a set of standard rings. Unfortunately, the scope and rings did not prove to be up to the task and I quickly replaced them with a Hawk 4 to 32 AO Sport HD mil dot scope and a set of heavy duty Hawk 11 mm rings. Given the relatively short range of this rifle, this is a perfect scope for whatever may come across your path. Inside the receiver is where all the magic happens. The Vortex system is different from other mainstream gas springs in that it uses standard compressed air versus a sealed inert gas like nitrogen. While I've not tried, there is word that it may be rebuildable and tunable to vary the degree of power they yield. I'll leave that for all the hardcore tinkerers out there to figure out. One thing's for certain, the Vortex rams provide a marked improvement over the stock spring. The Striker series comes with a standard trigger and automatic safety. While the trigger claims to be adjustable, it only adjusts the length of the second stage, which comes set to the shortest pull from the factory. It has a smooth pull, but very long pull that breaks around 5 pounds. The Vortex equipped Striker 1000X operates identically to its metal spring cousin. The first thing you're going to do is cock the rifle. This will engage the automatic safety. You can go ahead and load your pellet next. Make sure that you always secure the barrel with your off hand. Once you've got the pellet loaded, go ahead and aim the rifle at your desired target. Release the safety. Gently squeeze the trigger. We'll do that again. Cock the gun. Engages the automatic safety for you. Load your pellet, making sure to secure the barrel. Close the barrel. Aim the gun. Release the safety and pull the trigger. Close range accuracy is pretty easy to achieve with the 1000X Vortex. Anything say within 15 yards is going to be pretty much toast. If you see your shots start to wander however, check your stock screws. They tended to come loose on me after a bit of shooting and that really affected accuracy. Nothing that a little blue Loctite won't fix. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about performance and accuracy. The Vortex equipped 1000X topped out at around 101 dB in my indoor testing. And that may be just a little bit loud for the backyard if you have really close neighbors. Make sure to check your local ordinances relating to discharging an air gun and noise before any type of air gun shooting, recreational or otherwise. Now on the box, Hotson claims their 1000X and 25 caliber will hit 650 feet per second with lead pellets. Well, it did much better than that actually. Using the 19.91 grain H&M field target trophy pellets, my test rifle averaged 665.3 feet per second. While the H&M FTTs were fast, they were not the most accurate. For the best accuracy, I found the 25.4 grain JSB Exact Kings to be right on the money. They averaged 591.6 feet per second with an extreme spread of only 8.9 feet per second, generating 19.74 foot-pounds at the muzzle. The 25 cal version of the 1000X with its low muzzle velocity has a limited accurate range. In my test, it topped out at around 15 yards. Coming up are two shot groups. The first is shot indoors at 10 yards, and the second is shot out in the field at 15 yards. Take a look at these groups.
So let's go ahead and take a look at our final summary. No doubt the shooting experience is noticeably improved over the standard spring version. Even novice shooters blind testing each model at random commented on how much better the Vortex was to cock and shoot. As with most products, however, things were not 100% perfect. The bundled scope and mounts were not really adequate for the recoil on this gun and failed pretty quickly. The position on the factory scope stop is completely unacceptable for achieving comfortable eye relief. Fortunately, the heavy duty Hawk mounts hold like iron without the need of a scope stop. The second stage trigger pull was way too long and I had to keep tightening the stock screws. Now that last one is easily fixed with a little blue Loctite. With all that said, I'll go back to my original adjective describing what it's like to shoot the new Vortex Equip 1000X. It's addictive. The fact of the matter is that this gun puts a big lead pellet smack on target at close range, exactly what it's designed to do. I'm not concerned about it not shooting well at 30 and 40 yards, much in the same way I'm not concerned about my Colt 45 not grouping well at 150 yards. Having cleared tree rats in urban environments in the past, I can tell you there's a lot of merit to a hard-hitting, close-in air gun that can hit the target 10 out of 10 times. The price isn't bad either, and under $200, it's a great deal. I'd like to take a moment and thank the folks at Airgun Depot for sponsoring Airgun Web in this video. Please be sure to visit airgundepot.com and look for their upcoming Airgun blog. Once launched, I'll be posting regular articles every week, so please come join in the conversation. And while you're there, take a look around their site and do a little shopping for your next airgun related purchase. When you're looking for honest, real world airgun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Utzer with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.